Mr. Money. Mr. Clark, how you doing? Very well, sir. You're looking well. Thank you very much. How are you feeling? I feel really good. Well, well you've been out on the road forever. I'll give you a chance to catch your breath. Uh, were you out all of last year? Uh, actually, the album came in late. It was supposed to be done around August, but that didn't happen. So we were doing the tour while the record was getting done. I'd leave the studio, go on the road, come back and get dropped off the studio. But I've been on the road the last month and a half. Well, welcome I'm home. I'm on vacation right now, Dick. This is your vacation. Yes, sir, of course, your vacation. Introduce me to your friends, please, starting over oh, here. Oh, this is Randy Nichols on keyboards, but we're a long time. Thank you, sir, very much. <laughs> and he, ever so graceful, only just took the microphone out with his right hand, just This is uh, Johnny Belasis, lead guitar here. Thank you, sir, for joining us on drums. Uh, Dennis Edwards on drums, Mr. Shaken. Dennis, bless you, my man. Uh, let's go right here. Ralph Carter, bass guitar. You left your guitar out in the rain, Ralph. It shrunk. Well, does, it make, does it make any difference the size of the instrument? There's a guy in here the other day with just like the neck of the instrument. Uh, not really, just because of the electronics, just the way it feels. It just makes you feel good. You got it in the gum machine. I mean, it really it looks like you open up one of the little boxes of popcorn and it came out and there it was. Now that I recognize, that is a trumpet, obviously. Who is the man who plays it? Uh, this is from Cleveland, uh, Frank Lynx. Frank, welcome. Nice to have you here. I want to turn to, you've played every kind of place in the world, but yeah. uh, you played a place that is a very distinguished, sort of staid, wonderful cultural place, the, the, the Lincoln Center. Oh, yeah, it was great. How were you received? It was a great gig. Well, it was, a, it was a classic gig to play like Lincoln Center, and we actually it was a lot of fun. We sold it out in about seven hours. Wow. What kind of people went? It was great. Actually, uh, people from about 24 to uh, 35 bought the tickets because they had the money first, and it was like a quick sale. So we well, had That's a, not your usual audience. Well, no, it, it varies. It was kind of surprising to see people our age dig us, which was a lot of fun. But it was a great show, and I kept the boys down. They weren't too loud because the acoustic were great. And, uh, we had a good time there. Is it really true that you can hear all the way into the back of the hall? I tell you, Dick, I heard the technician talking to his assistant like up in the third balcony. You know, it's, and they're just obviously I felt like not I was playing in the tabernacle in the Mormon temple or something. It was like, crazy. Tell me about the new record. Uh, the new record's called Where's the Party, which is uh, exactly what the record's all yeah. about. And uh, Big Crash was the first single. Now, Club Michelle, the one we're going to do, is a, a lot of fun. It's a song I wrote thinking about a place in Paris or London or something. I always write the songs like Two Tickets to Paris. I'm still looking for the tickets. <laughs> but, <laughs> It's a Have you been to these places? No, I haven't. I've been at the Holiday Inn down the street. You know? <laughs> I never know when you're telling me the truth.